Ukrainians who found safety in the metro worry about the future of their native country. Yeah, Saturday marked two years since Russia's invasion. Tens of millions of dollars in aid for Ukraine still hangs in the balance in Washington. KETV News Watch 7's Quinesia Fraser talked with the family to see how they're adjusting. Quinesia. Julie Ra, both women I talked with tonight still have family living in Ukraine, and they say support from the U.S. along with the rest of the world is key to get Ukraine one step closer to victory. Learning colors is part of early childhood. Blue one. And Yulia Gritsik is teaching her nephew his colors in English. Purple. Gritsik's sister and her two young sons moved into her Council Bluffs home. They came in here about four months ago. To flee the ongoing war in Ukraine that's now been raging on for two years. This is something so much bigger than just the war between two countries. So much is being involved and everybody has to stood up. Over in Omaha, you're thinking about them all the time. Oksana Ahiv thinks about her husband's sister-in-law, who's been teaching these kids underground. She also worries for the people scared to even talk about what's going on right in front of their eyes. A lot of people who said something, they after that they just disappear, and nobody knows. Or this, like, or after a few days been found to uh, kill them, like, or found their bodies. Both women say they've never seen their home country more united. I, I feel very proud of our uh, men fighting in order to protect their land in Ukraine right now. Gritsik and Ahiv hope Americans and the rest of the world don't stop supporting the place they once called home. All of us, including American people, European people, everybody, we all have to stand up and stop that war. Oksana Ahiv's sister also fled Ukraine last year. She's now adjusting to American life in Lincoln. Julie, back to you. Thanks, Quinnisia. Yeah.